Here are the 15 most brutal fouls in the history of football. They haven't cleared it on. Oh, that is a booking. Number 15. At number 15, the foul was committed by a player normally known for being a good guy. It was in the final match of the group stage of the 2018 UEFA Champions League. Bayern Munich versus Ajax Amsterdam. Both teams were giving their all, and they each scored a goal. However, in the 75th minute, chaos erupted on the Ajax bench. Mueller attempted to reach a long pass with a high kick and didn't see the Ajax player who wanted to head the ball. The Bayern player directly hit Tagliafico in the forehead with his boot studs, causing a laceration. Tagliafico had to receive medical treatment on the field, but luckily was able to continue and finish the match. Mueller, on the other hand, was shown a red card and had to take an early shower. The foul was quite violent but unintentional. However, our top three fouls, without a doubt, are brutal. Number 14. In the 1990 World Cup held in Italy, Cameroon surprised everyone by beating the defending champions, Argentina, 1-0 in the opening match. But there was a scene from that game that the football world will never forget. Just before the end of the match, there was one last counterattack by Claudio Canigia. During that tackle, even his shoe flew off. Massing was directly sent off, and this foul was considered one of the worst in World Cup history. Indeed, football is pure emotion, and in some cases, tempers flare up quickly. Number 13. Our next foul is committed by a player known mainly for his aggressive defending and unsportsmanlike conduct. In the quarterfinals of the Spanish Copa del Rey, Barcelona with superstar Messi played against their arch-rivals Real Madrid. Messi's run towards the goal, as usual, could only be stopped by a foul. And while Messi was on the ground, Pepe did this. He stepped on his hand. Messi screamed in pain and Barcelona went mad, rightfully so. The referee didn't see it and there was no video assistant referee at that time, so Pepe didn't receive a foul. Messi, on the other hand, was able to continue playing and scored the winning goal against Real. After the match, Pepe apologized, claiming it was unintentional. Sorry, Pepe, but it looked anything but accidental. Number 12. The next foul didn't even result in a yellow or red card, although this tackle nearly killed the other player. In 1988, Rangers were playing against Stia Bucharest. The Scottish team was known for their rough style of play, but Grame Sunas went a bit far. Oh, that is a booking. Reckless and dangerous, 40 years ago, the studs on the boots were made of iron, not plastic. The player who suffered the foul had to undergo surgery, and in the hospital he discovered how serious the situation was. One of his lymph nodes had burst, which could have endangered his life. Fortunately, everything turned out well, and Graham didn't even receive a card for his ugly foul. Number 11. But let's stay in England. The Premier League is known to be a bit more physical, and John Terry was known to be one of the toughest defenders. However, this tackle knocked him out cold. It was the final phase of a League Cup match between Chelsea and Arsenal, and the score was tied at 1-1. Chelsea earned a corner, and Terry wanted to show off his heading skills. They haven't cleared it on. Abu Dhabi wanted to kick the ball away from the goal, and Terry attempted a header at the same time. It was not a good combination. Terry swallowed his tongue, stopped breathing for a short period, and had to be treated on the field. Fortunately, he recovered, but had no memory of the incident. At least Didier Drogba scored the winning goal, making Chelsea the winner of the match. Number 10. The foul in the next match also occurred during an important encounter and almost sparked a brawl between the two teams. We're back in Spain in the 2011 Spanish Super Cup match between Real Madrid and Barcelona. Remember Pepe? Barcelona was leading 3-2, and it was already the last minutes of extra time when Marcelo had no chance of recovering the ball and brutally lunged at Fabregas from behind. Pure frustration. A straight red card in the ensuing scuffle, Moreno pinched the ear of the Barca coach, Pique and Ozil pushed each other, and yes, there was a lot of confusion. Pinto, David Villa, Marcelo, and Ozil all received red cards and had to watch the final seconds from outside the field. Number 9. Axel Witzel was an important player for Dortmund in recent years, but when he was making a name for himself in 2009, he was involved in one of the worst fouls and some even called for his ban from professional football. At the time, the young Witzel played for the Standard Liege. He was part of Belgium's golden generation and top clubs from around the world had their eyes on him, but then during a match against Anderlecht, this happened. <laughs> 
Witzel broke the opponent's leg, received a red card, and was suspended for eight matches. He continued to claim it was all unintentional, but with the next incident, the perpetrator of the foul won't be able to escape. Simply brutal. Number 8. It's the final of the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. The Netherlands, with Aaron Robin, faced the Spanish Tiki Taka of Iniesta and Xavi. It's the 28th minute and the score is 0-0 when Nigel De Jong turns into a kung fu fighter against Xabi Alonso. It's understandable that the Spanish players were furious with the referee because the Englishman, Howard Webb, only showed a yellow card. It's hard to believe when you see those images. Fortunately, Alonso could continue playing, and since Robin failed to score, Spain ultimately won the World Cup. But this foul in the Bundesliga didn't have a pleasant aftermath. Number 7. The injured player even sued the other player and the opposing team's coach. In 1981, Field played against Weirder Bremen. Ewald Lienen tried to dribble past Siegmund. The iron studs cut Lienen's thigh, and I can't show you the leg photos, otherwise YouTube would block the video. The player recovered from the injury after four weeks, but sued Siegmund and Otto Regal, the coach of Werder Bremen at the time. According to Lienen's accusation, the player had encouraged his teammates to commit the foul. The lawsuit failed, but the incident didn't go unnoticed. In the return match, the coach even sat on the bench wearing a bulletproof vest. There were death threats against him. Number 6. Martin Taylor also received a death threat after his foul on Eduardo. We're back in the Premier League, Birmingham City against Arsenal. Martin Taylor's incredibly brutal foul against Eduardo of Arsenal resulted in a broken tibia and fibula. The incident was so shocking that even on TV, replays weren't shown. Taylor was suspended for three matches. Eduardo returned to the field after a long injury hiatus, but was never the same. Number 5. Our number 5 occurred two years later, again in a Premier League match. Stoke City's Ryan Shawcross entered the duel, made the first contact, and broke Aaron Ramsey's leg. Shawcross received a red card and was suspended for three matches. Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger and the rest of the team were furious. 19-year-old Ramsey was making a name for himself in the football world and many feared his career was already over. Fortunately, he recovered from the terrible injury and continued to play. Now let's move on to a foul that gave the player a nickname, the Butcher of Bilbao. Number 4. In the 1980s, Athletic Bilbao and Barcelona had the biggest rivalry in Spain. Bilbao became champions in 1983, Barcelona won the cup, and in their fourth round of the new season, the two teams were set to face each other. The skillful Catalans against the tough Basques. Two different football worlds. The score was already 2-0 for Barca when Maradona received the ball in midfield. Goicochea brutally lunged from behind and broke the 25-year-old Maradona's ankles. Maradona had to stay out of the game for several months, and Goicochea received an 18-match suspension. We've reached the top three, and we're back in the Premier League. Number 3. In 2006, Manchester City played against Portsmouth. After a corner kick, Portsmouth player Mendez rushed to clear the ball. No. Ben Thatcher hit him in the face with an elbow for no reason. Mendez lost consciousness and had to be treated on the field and then taken to the hospital. The absurd thing is that Thatcher only received a yellow card. What does one have to do to get a red card in England? Later, he was suspended by the Football Association for eight matches and fined by his own club, being docked six weeks' wages as a punishment. Hey, it's not fair to hit others when you're angry, but it's perfectly fine to hit the subscribe button with force. Now, let's move on to a classic moment in football. Number 2. France versus Germany In 1982, the two teams met in the World Cup semifinals, and the encounter was ruthless. Suddenly, a good opportunity for France. Goalkeeper Schumacher lunged at Battiston and knocked him out with a powerful blow. The player lost several teeth and suffered a spinal injury. One of the worst fouls ever. Schumacher had no chance of touching the ball, and it seemed like he just wanted to knock out the French player. But here's the absurd part. He didn't receive any card, not even a yellow one. Germany won the semifinal, but then lost to Italy in the final. Our number one, perhaps the most brutal foul ever, happened in England. Are we really surprised? Number 1. September 1997. Manchester United was playing against Leeds. Roy Keane and Alf Inge Holland, or rather Erling Holland's father, 
clashed several times during the match. Five minutes before the end, Keane wanted to trip Holland, but in the process he injured himself. Holland leaned over him and shouted to stop faking an injury, but Keane wasn't faking. He'd torn his cruciate ligament and had to be out injured for a long time. Three and a half years later, the two faced each other again. Holland was playing for Manchester City, the eternal rival of Manchester United. Keane wanted only one thing, to have revenge on Holland. He received a red card and a three-match suspension, plus a fine of 5,000 pounds. A year and a half later, he wrote in his autobiography that he wanted to hurt Holland with that foul, and the English league handed him another five-match suspension and a fine of 150,000 pounds. But wait, did you know that due to a brutal foul, Ronaldo died on the field for a minute? Watch the video here.